here at ACC Highland. You can probably see from there depending on the light because the sun's directly behind it. But I'm right out front of the ACC campus where they're going to do the classroom portion of uh, my motorcycle licensing class. I don't know what the technical term for it is, but here we are. Today is three hours of classroom. Tomorrow is three hours of classroom and three hours of writing. So let's do it. What is up guys out here at ACC Highland? Just finished day one of class. Uh, pretty cool. Um, definitely a lot of stuff I already knew so far. Tomorrow we start riding and then we have another classroom portion, so we'll see. Pretty excited to try the riding portion, see what they teach me, see what kind of bad habits I have that they break. Should be a good time. Peace. All right, I think I'm recording now. Hello everybody. So we're back, it's day two um, of motorcycle license course training stuff. On my way to the first portion of the riding portion. First portion of the riding portion. Um, yeah. So it should be cool. See, so yeah, I'm pretty stoked on this. I get to ride one of their bikes. They allow you the option to bring your own, and but it's like paperwork and blah and liability and blah and whatever so i was like fuck it i'll just take advantage of the opportunity to ride a different bike they have some tw200s which is what i really want to do my test on just because i always wanted to ride a tw200 and here we are at dart bowl there's already some cones and shit out there very cool there's my teacher way over there and here's the course this is where i'm gonna learn to ride a motorcycle you guys i wonder what's over here i'm all like supposed to be going to school and i'm playing where does this go all right Oh yeah, I'm out here learning to ride a motorcycle. <laughs> Oops, shifted into second. Oh, and back into first. There's neutral. Nailed it. But um, so far this class is great. This is the first riding portion. It's pretty tedious for me because this is like an introduction to motorcycles and motorcycling pretty much. But um. I'm getting to ride this TW200 that needs like the world's most serious valve adjustment. Can you guys hear this? Can you hear it? it? Sounds like shit. But it's all right, it's a Yamaha. He assured me there was oil in it, so we should be good. We have to put up our left hand to show that we are in neutral. I'm on a T-dub. I need a water break, I'm sweating. Oh, that was cool. I got into second. That was my first time in second gear, you guys. Oh my god, it was so cool. I wish I had more Red Bulls. I made it into second. Yeah, don't go to second. Oh, okay. All right. All right. And it will be in second gear, basically, the rest of the class. Okay. No second gear. I got in trouble. No second, he said. I don't know what's wrong with second. So far, I really dig the way the class is set up. Seems to be pretty much minimizing any questions or confusion between, you know, among all the new riders we have here. Seems to be pretty well explained. The exercises aren't pointless. They're practicing stopping and going, clutch control, balance, low speed, turning, low speed, you know, just all of that. It's almost like I already know how to ride a motorcycle. All right, so now we're practicing slightly higher speeds, slightly wider turns. This is fun. I'm having a good time. I had to stall it at least once. I can't see the neutral light. <laughs> oh, 
What's up guys? Something very different today. We're in the truck. It's the fucking Steedsmobile. Uh, I have no idea how this mount is gonna work out. I have no idea if it's gonna be all like super vibrating or what the audio is gonna be like. Uh, I'm not using a mic, obviously. Got the session on like my dashboard over there. Headed to Pflugerville right now to get my license. What's up? And uh, I'm actually going to talk more about why I'm finally deciding to go and get my M endorsement after riding for like pretty much four years without it. Um, but I'm going to talk about that in the next video. That's the next. That's not now. Not today. Driver test lane only. I'm not here for a driver test. Employee parking. I'm not an employee either. Where does a regular guy park who just wants to get his M endorsement? Is that where I go? That's all handicap over there. What is this? What is this? Everything why is there's like 500 handicap parking spots. Let's go to the state office. Ooh. Ooh, truck life! Truck life! All fucking turns and three point turns. Boom. Alright, I'm gonna go wait in line. I'll be back. Alright, so I just left DPS, the driver's license office, whatever, and um, got my endorsement. Good to go. Got my paper license and I got my old ID with the corner all clipped off. Um, pretty painless, honestly, since I already had everything done from uh, through the school that I took my endorsement class through. So I didn't have to really do anything when I got there except wait in line and pay the guy, take a new picture. I filled out like one really small form. No sweat. I even actually only waited for like maybe five minutes. Like I was like only sitting there long enough to like. I didn't even get to the like bottom of my news feed. <laughs> I wasn't in there very long. Um, it was pretty chill. Yeah, the class was great. I definitely recommend Austin Moto Academy. Um, if you're looking at getting your license in Austin, um, motorcycle license that is obviously, uh, check them out. I think they do a really good job. Um, even as like somebody, so I've been riding for like four years just about. Um, you know without my endorsement and I've been riding dirt and street and I have a decent bit of experience um, I've racked up a lot of mileage in those four years four years doesn't sound like a lot but in those four years I have ridden a lot and um, it, even for even for an experienced rider sitting through the course wasn't like overly tedious I didn't find myself like ah fuck this sucks like pretty much never I was never really even all that bored um, even in the classroom portion, which was like going over the basic controls, I mostly st stayed entertained by like kind of helping explain things and speaking from like my experiences and stuff. Um, so that was cool. Whatever. I recommend it. Just my personal opinion. Not a professional review or anything. Um, but yeah, I think it was good shit. I would send my kid there to get his license or her license.